Right now we're just shy of 1,100 feet. We're like 1087 where, where we're sitting right now. And uh, what we're doing is uh, putting in all the iron on the top of the building, they call it the sail. The hardest thing that I'm doing right now, the most challenging, is when the hook's all the way down at the ground. We're at 1,100 feet, say, I got 200 foot of boom, so that's 1,300 foot of, a, of wire rope out. Trying to control the drift and put the hook in the right spot, it's challenging to say the least. The capacity in this configuration is 57,000 pounds. Uh, the machine's like a 1978 model. She's old, but uh, she's in a safe working order. She's still making money. And it's a good machine. I mean, this is a, uh, I've run a lot of tower cranes. It's a little uncomfortable because in them days there was no such thing as uh, ergonomics. And Cornell, who owns it, they've done a great job of uh, keeping this thing, the maintenance up and keeping everything in, in good working order. When I want to move the boom up and down, I release the brake and then pull it back to boom up, push it forward to boom down. And this is my LMI system, a low moment indicator. That's my computer. It tells you what radius you're at. It tells you how much weight you're good for at that radius. It also tells you how much you have on the hook. Right now, I have 7,000 pounds on the hook. Everything between the top of the boom and that piece of iron, I've got 7,200 pounds. They're tacking that beam in right there and uh, as soon as they got it safe, we'll cut it loose and then we'll, uh, we'll go get the next piece. That guy you hear talking, that's my signal man down on the deck. We, him and I work together, we, we control it. He actually controls the crane. Uh, yeah. So okay, we're working down easy. I'm gonna have to give it a little throttle here in a minute. So it might get a little noisy. Down easy. The tricky thing about this crane is uh, the swings are on my feet. Most cranes will have it, the swing will be on this hand. The swingers are on my feet, so this crane takes two hands and two feet to run all the time. And this is just all day long, one piece after another. Doing a good job. Uh, when you don't get fired Fire after dog. after your second day. Right now, I come in at two o'clock in the morning. Up. At uh. Wait, right. I work until eleven. My partner Josh comes in at eleven, and he works from eleven in the morning the rest of the day. If heights bother you, this is not a good place to be. <laughs> those two fellows right there, those connectors. They're some of the best I've ever worked with. You can see it when I come in. They catch it, settle it down, and put it where it needs to be. This is a giant feather in my cap. Uh, right, right now, we're on the tallest tower crane on the west of the Mississippi. I'm very proud to be here. I like working with all these guys. We get it done, but at the same time, we have fun. I like this job since the first time I went up in one. I was like, yep, that's for me. It's kind of like a big family. I enjoy coming to work every day, I really do. I've really got the best view in town, I think.